I mean, you can see here, he just gets completely lost in translation. I don't know if the safety or the cornerback uh, were trying to figure out who covers him, but after about 15 yards down the field, it's apparent that nobody's covering him. It's completely busted coverage, and it happens every single time. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff the Mad Cheese has always got a new passing play for you guys today out of my very favorite Baltimore Ravens playbook. This is the playbook I'm running right now, and it's because of this offensive scheme I'm going to show you guys today. This is my favorite offense to me. It should be one of the metas. It has so many explosive plays in it, and it's something that I don't think anybody really knows about. It only got added to Madden and Madden 22. The formation itself is out of the Ravens, and it's the normal Y off close. This is a formation that I put out a video earlier in the year. I will leave a link in the description. It was about three months ago I put this video out. I called it the new meta. I still think it's one of the best passing formations in the game, and it's really great offense. I'm going to have a full offensive break down with about seven plays on my patreon on my uh, join now community tab and in my ebooks if you guys want to see more from this a full scheme of this maybe cup on an upcoming friday or saturday Woo! hit the like button because this is definitely one of the most explosive schemes in the game and to me it's totally worth it it's one of the best offenses you can run running and passing there's a lot of really good run plays in this as well ultimately though what i really would like you guys to do because i want to move on from the ravens entirely when it comes to these videos let me know in the comment section what playbook you guys want to see me focus on next i'm thinking niners uh, i already did a lot of saints i don't know if i'm gonna go back to them uh but i'm I'm thinking Niners. I haven't done Niners in a while, and Niners is a great book. So Niners, Raiders, I know uh, some of the more popular books like the Colts and the Patriots and stuff like that. So let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I'm repping my Eagles. We got a game. I'm recording this on Saturday. We have a game uh, on Sunday, but I don't know when this video is going to come out. So I'm just going to say that we won. We shocked the world. Unbelievable. Don't get it. Won't come close. Now the play I'm going to show you guys is the escape. It really hits a one-play touchdown against every single defense in the game. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. You can see I called the play 120 times and I averaged 22 yards yards a play it's a super explosive play and the route that the running back is doing is an absolute glitch as well it's not just going to be the one play touchdown but that china route that the running back is doing gets opens against every single defense in the game so it has an amazing check down let's go and let's pick that on the defensive side we're going to start off with tampa 2 like we always do and work our way back now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at aoeh.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this uh, channel at the same time all you have to do is check them out links in the description below and they actually have a promotion running right now where if you use discount code email you get six percent off rather than the normal three percent off which is what i typically offer through my my code money so check them out use the new discount code you get six percent off anything on their site right now uh link in the description below now when i originally showed this particular play i showed that it can beat a lot of different defenses mostly cover fours but i didn't show and i didn't know at the time that this also beats cover two with no adjustments the b route here you can basically just go right between the two safeties the safety on the left typically pulls apart and reacts to the receiver on the left side i'll show that in the replay as you can see right here this receiver here is basically what's responsible for pulling these safeties apart is he has to react to that and you can see he's just totally out of position so you can basically just throw this right up the middle go and i'll do that again sometimes i mean you don't need any adjustments but sometimes the b route will even get past the safety over the top here but you can see I mean, as long as you have a good enough receiver there's nothing there that's going to stop that when it comes to cover two so like I said, that was typically a cover four play. Now it beats multiple defenses. We'll go ahead and we'll pick uh, cover two man because that's very 
pretty similar. And here you're gonna see it's gonna have the exact same result. I mean, there's a lot of really good man coverage routes on this, like the running back I love, by the way. That's like a China route. I'm not really sure what they call that, but there is a lot of really good man options. Pretty much every route on this play is a good man option. The tight end is a good man option. The Y route is probably the only one that's not, but you can really hit up a lot of these receivers. But ultimately, you can also hit a one play touchdown with the exact same receiver that we just did. So we'll go and we'll do that. Like I said, he's inside that cornerback. The cornerback does not get hands on him. And then you can see he gets right over the top, right over the middle again, and splits the receivers one more time. So a one play touchdown against cover two man and zone. Go and do that one more time just for posterity. Like I said, it's really all about, I mean, I'm bullet and pass leading up in a way, by the way, just in case you guys aren't seeing that. And they're basically just doing, uh, uh, what do they call that, monkey rolls? So that's every cover two play. What about cover three? Let's go ahead and let's pick that next. All I'm gonna do is put the X route on an out route and then smart route at about 10 yards. And then I can block my running back and block my tight end. And this will give me the best opportunity to play touchdown against this defense. I could also streak the tight end if I feel confident. Uh, that'll give me a little bit more separation when it comes to the crossing receiver. But protection really seems to be the biggest issue as you can see right here, we get across that formation. We have a very easy crossing one play touchdown against cover three. The reason this works out like that is you can see how this cornerback here it reacts to this out route if you can see that just that slight reaction gets him out of position and the out route's open by the way if i wanted to hit that i could do that but you can see that gets him out of position enough that he can't recover to this crossing receiver i mean that's just about as much separation as you're going to get in a cover three in the game right now also has a lot of success against cover one man which is going to look similar pre-snap and we can do pretty much the exact same setup say we're not sure if it's cover three or cover one i mean the china route the the running back is going to be best against pretty much any man coverage. Looks like he's like double teamed right here. I mean, I love this route, and this is a great route, but you also have the option as the crosser, obviously. So since it looks the same, pre-snap will do the exact same setup. We block our running back. Like I said, that running back, though, is very good against man coverages, and you're going to see how this route here will cross again and get a very easy one-play touchdown against cover three, cover one. I mean, it's hitting a home run against just about every defense so far. And then probably the defense that is best against, and I went over this in the original video, is it heavily glitches out cover four. So let's go ahead and let's pick cover four quarters. This play is at its glitchiest when you just run it against cover quarters because they completely forget to cover this guy. I mean, it's just, this play is so glitchy. He's gone by about 10 yards. And then for some reason, he didn't catch it, which is super weird, but it doesn't really matter because like I said, this is just, you know, how you gonna, you can't run cover four against this. If anybody runs cover four, you're gonna glitch it out super easy. I can't even get the ball up in the air enough. I mean, I'm basically just lobbing this up the second he gets about 10, 15 yards down the field. As you can see, for whatever reason, they just forget to cover him. So very easy play against cover four quarters. Don't run that defense. It's not very good unless you're trying to stop the run. And then last but not least, we have regular cover four, which I'll have to go to a dollar formation to do. Now this play here, I'm going to make that same motion like I was saying. I make this motion a lot in this formation. It should not stand out at all. And I'm going to drag both the Y route and the X route. That's all I really have to do. I'm going to block my running back. I'm going to put the A route on a streak. That's all I have to do. And then this B route here is going to be a super explosive one play touchdown against cover four. But you have to wait till it crosses the formation. As you can see right there, the cornerback does not drop back because there's nothing in his area calling him to and the safety basically gets beat inside part of the reason i motion this guy in is because it makes this cornerback i'm not even sure that's cornerback i guess the safety it makes this cornerback basically motion in as well when i motion the, the receiver in the cornerback follows and then he basically just stands in no man's land nothing really engages him and he basically is about you know 15 20 yards behind the other three deep safeties or the other three deep quarter coverage players and then you can see he just is nowhere near uh, able to react to this throw so once i get inside of the free safety or the you know the guy that's that's only the only guy that's doing his job you can see that i just had the bullet and pass lead away from him and there's nothing really stopping me so very easy one play touchdown against cover four so i'm just going to go to motion that receiver in again you can see the cornerback follows that's one of the reasons this is so glitchy is because the cornerback does that not a lot of formations do that to the cornerback block my tight end and my running back i don't need the tight end pulling anybody back he's not really serving any purpose i think it'd rather the protection because it takes a while for this receiver to cross and then you can see once he's basically aligned with the safety i just bullet and pass lead to the left and he gets over the cornerback and just one play touchdown very easy play one play touchdown against every single defense in the game i'm gonna end the video there though if you guys want to see a full formation a full breakdown of this formation it's totally worth it hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that like i said let me know in the comment section what playbook you guys would like to see me work on next because there's a lot of really good um you know playbooks out there that you know i'm just trying to give you guys what you want so let me know in the comment section what playbooks you want me to focus on other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below Thank you.